we'll take you for a ride on some of the trails around here. It's, it's... Remember back in chapter three when we put the beeve to sleep in storage? Night night beeve. Well now we're so excited to be back and picking up where we left off. We're back. We're here. Okay. I just hope, hope the beaver's still here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I am trying to get back to people on my emails because we are a bit behind after being on the road and in the air and barely making it from plane to plane. So back to work. Oh. And where are you now? I'm in San Antonio, Texas, and as soon as I'm done my breakfast here, I'm heading to the beef. Are you excited about that? Uber ride here and we're gonna hope that the beaver's in good shape. And everything's still in the wheel, right? Yeah, no kidding. We're back at the uh, storage facility where we're going to make sure the beaver's still here and we're ready to go. This is a really nice place, so I expect everything's going to be just... Should be. As long as it's there, it'll be good. Yeah, all our stuff. <laughs> Let's hope it's here. Wouldn't that suck if it wasn't? <laughs> yeah, there was a different one there. What do you see? I see a beaver. What are you doing? I'm finally unpacking our stuff, getting settled into our new old home, away from home, home. Huh. It's very nice to be able to take everything out of our bags and have a place for it. Finally. Finally. I do not like, well, we've mentioned it before, the planes, motels, Airbnb, we like to be in the beaver where everything has its place. You know where it is and it's comfortable and we're home. Nice. We're super excited to be back out on the road. So we head out to a beautiful state park, but in our usual fashion, we don't have reservations. So what are the chances? Right. Or just a sale? Yeah. Overflow? Or... Right. What do you have for unorganized people like us? Arriving at McKinney Falls on the right. That's better than, I, than we thought we were going to get. To me. I got you. I'm just gonna cut this branch here. Got it. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's still one more. Okay. Anyway, size does matter in this situation because this branch keeps scratching the door every time we open it and we gotta get rid of it. But you would really need to be quite giant. You would be. To reach it. Yeah. It's very high. <laughs> So I'll longer, show you. Longer limbs would help though. Okay, is it still hitting? Uh, there's just that one. Okay. Little one. Let me see if I can reach it. Don't fall out or we'll have to add that to our bloopers. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, you're onto it. Okay. Oh! Okay. Whack it. I'm trying. Okay, you I got think it. we got it. Where there's a well, there's a way. <laughs> no Hang more on. scratching. Huh. That works. Of course it does. <laughs> you need a ladder? Make a ladder. There you go. Use the tools you have. <laughs> so also, this site uh, wasn't very level. So for us, that means we had to put the front way up. And then, um, you know, being us, that requires an extra step stool to be applied because it's just too tall otherwise. Again, you do what you gotta do. So I think we have a hydraulic leak on the slide. Oh no. I think okay. it was maybe rubbing and we did actually tie it up last time we were at it service. You can see it was rubbing on the tire and it went up. Yeah, it's dripping, you can see it. Okay, well we're gonna have to get that serviced I guess, hey? I wonder if we can do that while we're here. Maybe. Anyways, watch your head. Huh? Oh, mean? forget it. Come on, lady. Follow me. I know the way. Okay. We're at McKinney.
McKinney Falls State Park and we're gonna go check out the lower falls and like this is our kind of place, right? Yeah, it's a bike hike place. That's what we do. <laughs> That's how we do it. But the thing is, somebody... Doesn't have a bike. So my, now she's got a hike. My bike got swiped, so now he gets to be the biker and I have to be the hiker until we until can we find a, a new bike. New bike. It's been a trying time, but we'll figure it out. Stand by. Do you want lunch time? Chapter four has started. We're back in Texas. We're in Austin today. We're excited about that. We're heading to our first meetup ever. Yeah, we're gonna go and meet up with Chad and Tara from Changing Lanes and fill in Stacy from You, Me, and the RV. And we're really excited about that. It's cool to meet people that are mm -hmm. doing some of similar things to what we're doing. And um, just really nice to meet up with people on the road. So we're excited. We're gonna go to the Brutorium downtown Austin. Austin. So we're hoping there's good parking <laughs> there because of course we're taking the beaver there. Right. So the main question here is <laughs> does size matter? <laughs> uh, we're hoping not, but we'll find out. We'll keep will, you. <laughs> will the beaver fit in downtown Austin? But we'll we'll keep you up to date on that and show you where we end up finding to park. where we had the meetup with Changing Lanes and Yumi in the RV yesterday and it was so cool. They do craft beers, they have ciders, they even have a little bit of wine but it's a really cool environment inside. You can bring games and play and hang out. It was really fun and for us we've never done a meetup so it was really fun to meet the people that were following and watching on YouTube all the time. We really loved it. So then oh the other thing we were wondering about that question does size matter? Let us show you. Does size matter? We drove the beef all through Austin. The roads were easy. We were able to pull right up to the Brutorium. There was great parking everywhere. And, um, you know, we managed to do a little stealth camping. <laughs> size didn't matter for us. Well, that's a very inconspicuous race. It is. Nobody knows we were here. Come on, let's go. I can't wait to show you guys all of this. Mm -hmm. It is so wonderful. And to us, travel is not about how fancy the paved sites are or how well the no. blocks interlock. It's about the people and the location and the What you can do there. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, UPS delivered us a parcel that we had so been waiting for. We were both really excited to get my new bike put together. Austin is a city to bike in. There are paths everywhere and we were really excited to get out on them.
Once we had my bike put together and we knew the wheels weren't going to fall off, we headed into downtown Austin to meet up with some subscribers, Clarissa and Roland, because they wanted to take us to a place that was real, authentic Texas barbecue. It was fabulous. You've got to try eating here. We're at the Ironworks Barbecue in Austin, Texas with Clarissa and Roland and Marky and oh, Dick who's it. not here yet. <laughs> but having authentic barbecue in Texas. We're having a sampler recommended by Roland. Looks great. Once our tummies were full, we headed across the street to the convention center where the Austin RV Expo was going on. We spent the next few days filming and filming and filming to gather as much information as we could to share with you in our RV reviews. Being that we're in Austin, Texas, and we're finally done with the grueling four days of filming at the RV show just for you all, <laughs> we're not gonna go have some fun. So where are we going to? We are going to Barton Springs, highly recommended in the area. It's a three acre pool, I guess. Natural, and I think it's gonna be a warm spring. So yeah, I don't think it'll <laughs> be a hot it's spring. A hot spring. But we're gonna go check it out because it is um, naturally bubbling up water yeah. into this space. And this Barton Springs area is really cool. There's lots going on. Yeah, it's kind of eclectic, trendy. Where are we gonna try and go for dinner? Oh. Is it Chewy's? I think so. Taco, another highly recommended place. It's everything's within like five minute bike ride from here. So. And now that I have my new bike, off we go. Now Apparently it's like three acres long. I want to see if it's warm enough to go. Oh. Survey says? Oh, you're not going in? Well, no, I'm not going in. I did notice that people are swimming in here in wetsuits. Oh. So there's something to That's that. That's a bit of an indication. Yeah, uh, cool place. Actually cool, literally cool. Um, no Liard hot springs. So it'll be good on a hot day, but not on a cold day like today. Yeah, you know, and they didn't say Barton hot springs, they said Barton springs. So it's, um, yeah, it's too cool for me to go in for sure. I think they said like 68 to 70 degrees is the temperature. So I mean, right day, right climate is probably perfect. Just not today. in the heat of the Texas sun that this place is packed, packed full because it would be beautiful. Come on. So is this hiking or is this actually rock climbing? Well this is it. Or a bit of both. We do it all here at the Does Size Matter channel. Yeah. No rock we won't scale. Apparently there is a pond we won't swim but we could almost bike hike this. We could. We totally could. That sound, if you can hear it. It's a diving board. It's a diving board. There are spots in here where people can dive, and they are. I was looking for salamanders, but we don't see any. There are native, special little 
salamanders that live in these waters that are protected because this is their natural habitat. I would be a little concerned about running into one of those, but they're not that big, like they're like this big. But this water is so clear and so beautiful that you can see what the bottom's like and it's definitely a water shoe kind of place. <laughs> But I'd go in it if it was warmer. Right. I would. <gasps> Careful, you're awfully close. Oh, I, I live on the edge of danger, honey. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and there's downtown. And our campsite's about a five minute ride. Queso, salsa. salsa, and a boom boom sauce, whatever that is, all handmade, right fresh with all fresh ingredients. Corey got the fish tacos, I got the Monday special. I don't even know how to say it or what it is, but wow, everything tastes so good. You could live on the sauce and the tortillas alone. I know. I have so much food. We have filled ourselves to here and I still have this much food to take back with us. They are so generous and the food here was so tasty and flavorful. I just loved every bite. I just don't have a big enough stomach for it. We've got another whole meal to take home. And what do you have to drink? Oh, okay. So I had a sangria to drink, which I'm thinking general sangria, but they actually put tequila, the berries, and the red wine, and I don't know, they mix it up. It was superb sangria, the best sangria I've ever had. And I had a very good strawberry mojito. So we had two meals, two drinks. We have a whole other meal to take home, and it only cost $38. Everybody should be coming to Chewy's in Austin on Barton Street. So we are here staying in the heart of Austin, Texas. We did that on purpose because we wanted to go to the RV show. We knew we needed to be able to ride our bikes, right? Uh, so I went online, I did some searching and I found this place, but it didn't have the greatest reviews and people had made a few complaints about it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. But I figured out why. They're trying to keep it a secret. secret. <laughs> because it's just the greatest place ever. It is in the best location. I would call it eclectic maybe, but it's trendy, cool. there's cool restaurants, there's tons going on, there's great bike trails. You can get anywhere in this city in 20 minutes. You can, we can be at the convention center. There's trails down both sides of the Colorado. There's we dog go. parks, there's parks in general, green space. There's it's a amazing. Big, uh, freshwater springs three acre pool just down the road six minutes bike ride from here whatever you want to eat it's here any kind of food and we're talking like exceptional food exceptional food even at a food truck exceptional food yeah it's so cool so we've learned the hashtag is keep Austin weird <laughs> so and weird is actually cool it is. Yeah. So no, we. This may not be the perfectly manicured, uh, you know, private site. I can hear traffic. But it's not bad. The people in here so nice, so mm -hmm. kind and friendly. Wait, we booked for a week. We've stayed two extra days. If we could stay another week, I'd be happy. We're getting 50 amp service. Uh, our site, not the hugest, but we can still open all our slides and everything. Mm -hmm. And. The price is uh, 55 a night. We did get a discount uh, for a week stay. And that doesn't seem all that outrageous for a private uh, campground. No, not at all, especially so close to a city. Location, location, location. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is the place to be. So we're telling you about it. But we don't want everybody else to know or we'll <laughs> never be able to get back in here. For the Americans, this would be Pecan Grove RV Park. And 
for you Canadians, it's Pecan Grove. It's been rumored that there's been some big motion picture movie stars who stayed in Pecan Grove RV Park at some point in their Airstream for quite a while. Anybody knows who that is? Leave us a message in the comments. Rumor has it there's some big YouTube stars who stay here at Pecan Grove as well. If you know who it is, leave us a comment. To the Bat Bridge. Thanks.